Well, we're back for one more trip to the shelter. I've added a few beams to it, and she's tightened up kind of nicely. The frame is uh, still a little shakier than I'd like, but I think by adding the tarps to it and putting a little tension to that, she should be pretty good. Now, I can't find my tripod, so we're going to have to figure something out. Voila! Well, the new camera stand seems to be holding. Just getting a little tension on the back of this. And then, as you can see, still a little more wobbly than I like, but I think that's probably the nature of the shelter. A real plus to these uh, carpenter pants is they have a hammer loop, which is really nice for your hatchet when you're around camp. last one so we gotta figure out the best spot for it. Alright, now it's a matter of taking all these sharp ends that just don't belong and trimming them off so that when we put the tarps over them we don't get a lot of the punctures and we stay watertight. Like I said, building this shelter has been a great learning experience. If you see that lash there, that was uh, learned by accident really. The underside of this branch here uh, I peeled the bark back from it after severing the end off to smooth it out. And when I pulled it, pulled it back, I had enough bark to actually wrap that up and actually give it a nice tight knot. I think I'm going to try that on a green piece of wood over here. All right. So we made some natural cordage. Now I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit. And I am going to pretend that in my backpack, I loaded out some pull ties. Because if I was going to build this shelter on purpose, I would probably pack my tarps, my space blankets, a little bit of duct tape, and a few of these. Especially if I was going to make camp for more than a couple of days. So let's give it a try. Again, a little bit of a cheat, but frankly, if you knew you were going to build this shelter, and you had the rest of the gear, might be worth considering having a little bit more. Or learn how to tie a better constrictor knot, I guess. Push that away so it won't break the turf.
Well, today seems to be about getting stuff done quickly, hopefully properly, but from my $25 survival kit, I had a $2 stove I never got a chance to use. So, I have one of these in my truck and have for a while. So I had been wanting just to try it out and see how effective this would be. So here's my opportunity. Open the sucker up and see what we can get. And if we can get water to boil using two of the 12 tablets. Anyway, one seems to be burning quite nicely. And there we go, we got two burning. See how long that takes. So the two dollar dollar store stove worked. It took two tabs to boil enough to fill that cup one and a half times, and now I have coffee. Well, say goodbye to my old double lean to. This side had two tarps on it. This log crosses that one and cantilevers over to make a bunk. This one, well, as you can see, I started knocking it down. Uh, some mold boughs from a few years ago that made a wind break on that side. A more of a traditional wall here. And it had some boughs as well. Anyway. It's time for this one to be retired. It's uh, made it through two full winters, so that's not bad. Here's the site of our $25 survival kit, and I'm going to be taking the tarps and the space blanket for the super shelter. Anyway, just a quick inspection. Um, the bunk is, uh, well, the bunk was never built, but where the bunk would have been is very dry. So, it seems to have done what it was supposed to. Alright, so I've been able to salvage all my materials from my last shelter. Well, from my shelter from a few years ago and the $25 one. Which includes this. Mylar blanket, which is the star of the show really when it comes to this uh, shelter. Because it's what reflects the heat back down to you. Now I've done a good job on my channel of not letting you see any plumber's butt. Already. It's 
So far, so good. So something's bound to happen. Let's get a tarp over that quickly. I'm not too worried about the mylar right now. I can tuck that back in after. I just want to get it up and weight it down. That is starting to look like a shelter. That is a split stick they're used to bind around that piece of tarp and made it like a clothespin. We'll have to finish up the shelter tomorrow. We're running out of light and I need one more tarp. I was uh, trying to find a spot to tie that down to and I couldn't find one so I created a hook or a loop and I found a piece of wood and it weighted it down nicely until I can find a better way of tying it down tomorrow. Or I might just attach that grommet to a piece of twine and do the same thing and run maybe a thicker piece. Here's the inside and as you can see Hopefully, we have our mylar blanket. We've got another tarp over on this side and another here. And yes, I dumped a log on that side in case the wind comes up. I didn't want it to blow away. And we have to, so we have to cover up the back and trim the bunk up a bit. And she'll be quite livable. I'll probably get a nice uh, piece of clear plastic for the front.